and then you'll die. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to be going through some more Sakura Garden gameplay. I'm going to be using a one power club because this is obviously a very new map so most people have one power clubs. I got incredibly lucky and got the mecha club in my shop the, the day after it was released. Which I believe is probably the best, best club for Sakura Garden. It's basically the same as all of these ones. I only need one more to get four power so just waiting for it to show up in the shop. So got very lucky there, but to, for today's video I'm going to be using a one power club because that's what most people will be having at this moment. And uh, yeah, I'll just give you a few tricks on how to uh, just get the best stuff possible. So let's jump straight into the Sakura Garden Pro gameplay. And uh, yeah, I'll teach you the best ways to play some of the holes. I'll just give you a few tips on how to do as best you can. Obviously one power club is not what you want to have. It's not very ideal for any map at all, so you don't you want you don't want to be sticking around on it. Basically, you just want to try and follow the map through. That's my best advice. Don't try and do anything special. Just follow it how it's supposed to be played. Play it nice and safe. Don't try anything because you probably can't make it. Try and stay out of the sand because you can't actually uh, get up very far at all. So it's better to go over it than get in the sand. But yeah, basically just play the hole how it's supposed to be. Try and be as consistent as possible. Don't try and try and do things. Just do it normally because otherwise you're going to have to do extra shots to fix yourself, which you can't afford. You just got to play it safe. So like this hole, just play it safe. Don't worry about the half pipe. Just play how it's supposed to be played. Just tap it over here. Play it nice and safe. And then try your luck, but probably not going to work. So you just got to hop in the sand then into the hole, I guess. So one power club's all about just doing the best you can for what you have. Not really any shortcuts. I'm not going to make a shortcut video for one power club because there aren't really any shortcuts. It's just common sense. You just got to follow the map through. Try and be smart so you do. You don't have to waste shots because it's super hard. Like for this hole here, if you've got a high power club, you can fluke off the back. But with one power, you can't really do that, so you just gotta follow it through the normal way. First shot should have been a bit harder, but that's alright. And then try our luck here, but just do the best you can again. Also this water here, you don't want to try and avoid landing in that because Yeah, like I said, if you get in that water, then you can't get very far out with one power. It's basically the same as sand, so you want to try and avoid that. Stay on the green and uh yeah. So let's try another hole. This one we'll try going through the middle. That was stupid. So that's exactly what I said not to do. First thing is just to follow it through. Go around the ramp. We'll try and avoid the sand because we'll probably end up taking more shots. So we'll just go around. And then we can just tap it in. So if I didn't stuff up the first one, we would have got a five. You can do a lot better, obviously, but with a one power club, you're not going to get much better than that, and that's just the safest way to play it. Because otherwise, you'll probably stuff something up. This one, with a one power, I believe you can still do this little thing. You gotta, like, flick it around here. Not quite, but it actually works fine, because now we can just tap it down. No idea where the hole is, but... That works absolutely fine. So we got a four there, which is pretty actually pretty good for this hole, even with a one power club. So that's a little shortcut. One of the few shortcuts you can do with a one power. Normally you just follow it through, but yeah. If you can find a shortcut that works and doesn't just waste you heaps of shots, then it's worth trying. And still too soft, so it's about a hardish orange for that shot, I think. Not quite. 
you can see we're keeping up probably bots but as long as we get top three that's all we're you're basically just trying to uh, get top three as much as you can until you get better clubs and that's where you can start doing the proper shortcuts which I'll make in the near future hopefully because I've already got the four power club just about I only need one more card and that will come up in the shop soon so that's what you should aim for but so basically one power club it's just trying to get past until you can upgrade even like a two or three power club is quite a significant upgrade I'd say three powers where most of the shortcuts can start being played one and two power you can't do a huge amount it's better to just play it safe here's this one again We'll do that thing again, it worked pretty well last time. Is that gonna hop me up? No, that was unlucky. All right, we'll try it again, I guess. Okay, I'm not making much sense right now. Doing basically the opposite of what I said. So maybe I thought that this hole was a little bit more consistent going that way, but maybe it's best not to with a one power. It's actually kind of hard to get it perfectly. See, last time I got a 4, this time I got an 8. So it's probably not very consistent. It probably is better to just follow it through until you've got better power and it's more consistent to take that shortcut. I like this one. We could go off that wall, but it's going to be pretty risky. Probably not worth it, so we might as well just hop around here. Hop this unlucky. And then we can just have a straight shot at the hole, or off the wall. <laughs> that was stupid. There we go. See, Ethan's still trying to make that shot, and he's finally giving up. Better to just play the safe route. Alright, let's see if we can do this any better. Hard orange. Still too short. I feel like it hits the same spot every place. Maybe I just need to max it. Oh, well, come on. That was pretty stupid. shootout so we'll take a look at one of those I haven't really figured out all of them yet but I will make a video in the future and this one is just a straight shot so with a one power I think probably about a hard orange is pretty decent yeah that worked pretty well So there you go, and a hard orange for that shootout works pretty well with a one power club. But uh, yeah, that is going to be do it for this video. So basically, with a one power club, I just recommend to just play the safe routes, get the holes done, try not to do any risky shortcuts, just get it done. And then as soon as you get higher power clubs, you can upgrade. And uh, yeah, like this, we can use shortcuts. I'm going to use switch over to this now, so I probably won't use one power anymore for the videos. But I thought I'd make this one because a lot of you will have that at the moment. So just... Start unlocking chests. If you got any gems, wait for the shop or else buy a VIP chest and maybe get lucky. But uh, yeah, that's going to do it for this video. Hopefully it helped you out. Leave a like and subscribe. Stay tuned for more garden videos along with other golf battle maps and all the usual. Otherwise, thanks very much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care. Peace.